The debate over the NFL anthem protests has persistently been framed in racial terms. Most, most protesting players have been African American. They say they're kneeling to protest the treatment of black Americans by the police. Critics of anthem protests, meanwhile, are routinely labeled as racist. Clint Gresham played for the Seattle Seahawks for six seasons. He's currently a free agent. He's white. He says, though, as a Christian, it's his duty to kneel alongside the black players to show solidarity against racism. Clint Gresham joins us tonight to explain. Clint, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me, Tucker. It's good to be here. So I'm, I'm convinced of your sincerity completely. You're a Christian, um, and you wrote a long, interesting op-ed on this subject. And I'm also convinced that there is racism in America. You said you experienced it yourself in the NFL. What I don't understand is why the existence of bigoted people means that you protest the symbols of the country itself. Yeah. Um, if I fought in World War II or my son died in Vietnam, right. and I go to a national football game and I'm sitting there and I'm watching players protest against the very thing that my son died for, I can see that why that would cause a problem. I totally yeah. get that. And when Colin Kaepernick first kneeled, I had a problem with it because I didn't understand where guys were coming from. And what I also know was that the six years that I spent in the National Football League with guys that I otherwise wouldn't have had any time with just because we're in different places in our world, uh, it also showed me that it's just as hard for them to watch a video of someone who looks like them being shot by a police officer and there seems to be no apparent justice for that. So I, I get that. And because of that, players have chosen to have a nonviolent protest to bring awareness to something that is unfortunate in our society. Well, I, I, I'm with you up until the end, and I'm for nonviolent protests, of course. I just don't understand why people who've reaped more benefits from this country than almost anyone else in the country, that is pro athletes, NFL players, are protesting the country itself. The country is a decent place. There are some crummy people here, but yeah. the country itself is good. And that's why these guys are succeeding in it and live these incredibly entitled lives. So like, why attack the country? That's, that's always been my problem with this. Yeah, and you know, um, the truth is, is that they do have millions of dollars. Yeah. But the reality is, is that getting millions of dollars doesn't make the pain go away. Like, we both know that someone who is rich but is empty inside their heart, that doesn't make that pain stop. Just because you have a ton of money, it doesn't make you any more happier. Oh, that is like, just for because sure you get a truth. million dollars when you're 25, it doesn't take away from the sting that you felt from the 25 years leading up to that point. No, and in fact, it's probably bad for you. No, I agree with that. Uh, but again, and uh, you're absolutely right, and the world is littered with unhappy rich people, that's for sure. In fact, I think it probably makes them less happy right. to be that successful. I just don't th I think the fact that they have been successful is evidence that the deal that America makes with its citizens is basically on the level, which is like, be good at something, work hard, and you can succeed. So it's not the country's fault. That's the point I'm making. Why are they blaming the country? It's a good country. And when they say it's a bad country, it it's a, a lie. It's a fantastic country. It's a fantastic country. And I am so grateful to have the opportunity to live in this country. There are people who are fighting and clamoring, trying to live in this country to create a better yeah. life for themselves. But the reality is, is that our soldiers did not go fight and die in other nations to allow systemic racism to continue to exist in this country. And so, while we're not perfect, of course our country isn't perfect, we're still going to stand up and we're going to fight for injustice, we're going to fight against inequality so that there is freedom and justice for everybody. Yeah, I think you're misguided. I actually think the message that it's sending is like this whole thing is a joke and like who cares about America. I don't think that that's don't it's sending how, that message yeah. at all. But but you know, I hope you're right. Clint, well, thanks from, for joining us from tonight. From being in a guy. Yeah.